Greetings and welcome to week five of 90 days to a healthier me. So this week what I want us to focus on is stay in your lane. Kevin Hart is like most famous for the phrase saying stay in your lane. And literally what it means is stay in your lane. Listen to my voice with your ears. Look at my facial expressions. Read my body language. Stay in your lane. Simply means that you need to focus on you. Pay attention to what's going on with you. Minimize other things, what's going on with other people, and just focus in on yourself. Again, staying in your lane. Literally, when we talk about embracing our purpose, walking into our purpose, and having a better understanding of who we are, sometimes we are all intertwined in other people's business, getting involved with other folks, and we really need to just settle down and stay in our own little lane. So pretend you're driving a car and just stay there. Be like a horse with blinders on and, and you can't see anywhere else. So you have to focus in on what it is that you're doing. It's, as you see, my cat does not want to stay in his lane because he wants me to pay attention to him. So we don't want to be like my cat. You want to stay in your lane. I'm just using that as an example so we can get a little humor out of that. Spend time with yourself. Focus on yourself. Why are you wanting to shift to the right or shift to the left and go into somebody else's lane when you can just stay in your lane and do what it is that you were meant to do? Again, making sure that you are understanding who you are, what your destination is, where it is that you want to go so that you can live, love, and enjoy your life. Because oftentimes, we are not doing that. We're not living. We're, we're surviving. And so we want to just get out of that survival mode and really thrive and enjoy the fruits of our labor. So just, like I said, bring it down, settle it down so that you can really focus in on staying in your lane. Getting in tune with yourself, get in alignment with those goals and objectives that you have mapped out so that you can actually live the life that you were supposed to live, that we're meant to live. So in essence, that you can live your destiny now. Sometimes we have goals that are so far-fetched. And what I mean by so far-fetched is, is we make these things that we believe or can't happen or that they won't happen. Any goals and objectives that you set can and will happen if you take the necessary action to make it happen. You might have to sacrifice something. You might have to let go of something or somebody. But again, if it is a goal and an objective and you have it mapped out and you take the necessary action to make it happen, it can and will become a reality. It will remain a dream if you stay asleep. And what I mean sleep, you sleep. You're not awake, so you're dreaming. So open your eyes and come back to reality and stay focused and stay in your lane. So for week five, let's focus on staying in our lane and not again shifting to the left or to the right and going into other people's lane, impeding the flow of traffic. Make sure you stay focused. Make sure you stay encouraged. Make sure you stay motivated so that you can be the best that you can possibly be and live, love, and enjoy your life. Have a fantastic day. I'm Dr. Shanta Smith, The Essence of Education.